Hallelujah. Good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia al nuevo comienzo. Hallelujah. Yes. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. You always come prepared to receive what God has for you. And don't ever say, God has nothing for me. That's right. Maybe you're not seeking him. Uh -huh. <laughs> but he's there. Amen. He has something for you. So yes, get ready to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. Those of you listening by audio, watching by video, prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Los que nos escuchen por audio o los que nos están viendo por video, prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct us. Amen. Nos quiere bendecir, animar, cambiar, y corregir. Amen. So, I'm going to go. So, get yourself on go. Hallelujah. Grab your sword, servants of God. And church, let's say it like we mean it. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. This is my Bible. my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking with God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. Amen. Amen. This is my Bible. This is the word of God. Amen. Yeah. We got to take this and drink it. Take it into us and let the word of God change us. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we won't have to be frightened, scared, or uh, think that we're not able. Yeah. We're not capable. Uh -huh. But we are. We know why? Yes, because he's called to you. Yeah. And he's equipped you. Yes, Amen. Yeah. And he's equipped you to succeed and to win. And so we need to believe those things. Amen. Yeah. So whose report are you going to believe? Amen. Yeah. I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. Yeah. And if you want to hear his report, all you have to do is open his word and read it. Amen. And take it in. And let that report come out of your mouth. Yeah. Because the word of God is going to come out of you. Yeah. Amen. And that's what's going to come out of me. So get yourselves ready, church. Whose report would you believe? I. You can put your name on there. Just cross that I out and say, Jose. We'll believe the report of the Lord. Amen. I'm going to believe what his word says. Satan and the world, just a quick review, Satan and the world have their bad reports. And you're going to hear these bad reports on a daily basis. You know why? Because every time you go leave your house, every time you go somewhere, you're amongst people. Uh -huh. <laughs> God uses people, and guess what? Satan uses people. Yes. <laughs> so, whose report are you going to believe? The bad report says God and believers give their good report. Either positive or negative, you're going to give your report. I'm going to believe the report of the Lord, and I'm going to give my good report. Amen? So praise God. So brace yourself, grab a hold, and here we go. Amen? Facing your giants. Let me read you a scripture, a scripture, right, that I put a, a, in the Facebook here a few days ago. And uh, it goes something like this. Something we're going to be talking about. Facing your giants, don't let your giant, giants, mm -hmm. bad reports, cares, fears, sickness, troubles, or lack. I know none of you are going through any of those. Uh -huh. <laughs> Defeat you. Yes. Defeating them doesn't depend on your abilities. That's right. Jesus has already defeated them. Uh -huh. You fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis, and God has already given the church spiritual yeah. weapons to use one weapon is a blood covenant with jesus yeah. jesus bought for you don't let your uncircumcised philistine giants oh, or circumstances take uh -huh. you from your victory or, or take your victory away from you listen to this you can write this down believe it receive it and act on it you have a blood covenant with jesus this is us this this is this is what i want to talk to you about uh -huh. in, a, in a in a nutshell right here <clears throat> would you believe it, receive it, and act on it? Uh -huh. That's what we want to do. We want to speak faith-filled words. Amen? Speak the word of God. Yes. But don't let these things um, take you down. Amen? That's defeat right. you. <laughs> Remember, we're fighting a defeated foe. Yes, God. Amen? I have to change this from defeating your giants to facing your giants because... Uh -huh. Jesus has already defeated yes. these giants, amen? Yeah. So I said, wait a minute, I, you know, I stand corrected. Jesus has already defeated these the enemy. Yes. And you have a blood covenant with him. Your giants say this. Mm -hmm. These bad reports, 
They come daily. What do you do? Do you speak to them? If you don't speak to them, they will speak to you. Oh yeah. If you don't control them, they will control you. <laughs> they will come to fight. Enemy comes to what? Steal, kill, destroy. If you let them. Amen. You got to remind them what the word of God says. They will send their best. And we've been talking about this quite often. Part-time Christian. Being part-time believer of the word or being part-time believer is no match for a full-time right. woman. Right. Amen. They will try to intimidate you with fears, threats, scares, terrorize. I know none of you have been there. <laughs> they really come alone. Listen to this in Matthew chapter 5, 1 through 17. Jesus cast out legion. He, he cast out 2,000 demons out of one person. And you know, <clears throat> we found out into those swines, they come united. Mm -hmm. They're united. So we need to be ready. We need to be, as a body of Christ, we need to be united. So because they don't come alone, they are united. You better recognize them. Devil doesn't come in a red suit with horns and a pitchfork. <laughs> <That's for sure. laughs> Listen to this. They come in form of people, mm -hmm. family, friends, co-workers, mm -hmm. and bad reports. You know, just because somebody gives you a bad report doesn't mean that's final. That's right. You take it to the Lord in prayer. Amen. You go to him or you just confess the word that's already in you and say, you know what? I don't receive that from that's you. That's right. You know, hey, the food's going around, so you're going to catch it. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, 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 you're right. I always catch it. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> Whatever bad report's going around, you know what? Hey, it's going to skip by me to somebody else uh -huh. because... It ain't going to stop here. Amen. You say the buck stops here, not here. It's going somewhere else. This bad report is not mine. It's going somewhere else. Yeah. So whose report are you going to believe? Yeah. So the Bible says to take a stand. When you take a stand yeah. and use his name, use his word, yeah. use his authority. Yes. You know, you just don't let the devil run you over. That's right. Or whatever the bad report is, you don't let it run, run you over. Uh -huh. You're going to use the word. You're going to use faithful words. You're going to yeah. use the name, the word, and his authority. Yeah. It's, okay. it, it's good to be a Christian, but don't be a defeated Christian. Yes, and don't right. live your life as a defeated Christian. Oh, boy. Amen. Use the word of God. Yes. He wants us to. How are yes. we going to fulfill his, the mission he set us on if we never step out in faith? If right. we never step out and do what he's called us to do? Because right. yeah. he didn't call us to just sit he called us to be active, to be participators. Yes. Jesus told us as long as we're in this world, <laughs> we'll continue to face giants. Mm -hmm. These bad reports, these cares, these troubles, whatever it is, sickness, lack. John 16, 33. Well, here you go. Here's a, here's a title here, right here. Facing your giants. Go to the next one. I think I got two, two of those. Facing your giants. Go to the next one. Here we go. John 16, 33 says, this is uh, King James. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. Yes. In the world you will have tribulations. Yes. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. The world. Amen. Yes. Go to the next one. This one. This is uh, one we can understand. I have told you these things so that you, so that in me you might have peace. In the world you will have peace. You notice troubles in big letters? <laughs> you will have trouble. Yeah. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Yeah. John 16, 33. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And the expanded Bible goes like this. I have told you this thing so that you might have peace in me. In who? In him. Yes. Amen. So we got to have a relationship with him. If he's going to be part of our lives, yeah. we're gonna, we got to have a relationship with him. Right. In this world, you will have troubles. Bad reports, problems, persecutions, sufferings. Mm. But be brave. Take heart. Yes. I have defeated. I have victory over, yes. conquered, overcome the world. Amen. Amen. So if people don't know Christ, if they don't have a relationship with Christ, they're going to give and report, give you all these bad reports. Mm -hmm. That's where you can step out and say, you know what? <laughs> I used to say the same things you're saying right now, but guess what? I have Jesus in my, my life now. And you can have the same thing. And you can be over those bad reports. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
So you have to share the word of God, amen, and let him know because you've got the answer. Amen. Jesus Christ is our answer, amen. So yes. you don't say, well, you know, hey, I'm just, I don't know what to say. Or just don't agree with them, you know. Be encouraged as a child of God, live a successful life, even in the midst of facing your giants on a daily basis. Remember, we are fighting a spiritual battle. And you cannot defeat a spiritual battle with physical or your flesh. Right. You need the word of God. Amen. Amen. You need to confess the word of God. Jesus used it and he overcame the world. Mm -hmm. So we need to do the same thing. Yes. And we need to confess that same word. Facing your giants daily. Of course, the bad reports, the cares, the worries, the troubles, the problems. Every one of us is going through different things. What, what you're facing, I may not be facing. But it doesn't matter. We all use the word of God to defeat these things. Amen? Amen. To overcome these things. Yeah. Hebrews 3.13 uh, says, Be encouraged each other every day while you still have something called today. <laughs> Help each other so that none of us will be fooled by sin and become too hard to change. Yeah. Amen? We need the word of God. We need one another. Encourage one another. We assemble ourselves to encourage one another. Yes. Amen. Say, hey, you can make it. You'll make it. You know, I've been there. I know what you're going through. And we, we can pray. Amen. James 4, 7 says, therefore, submit yourself to God. Mm -hmm. Resist the devil. Resist that bad report. Say, I'm not going to receive it. That's it. It's not for me. Resist the devil. He, he's going to do what? Flee. He's going to flee from you. Uh, the buck don't stop here. That report don't stop here. You can go somewhere else. That's it. Amen. They might look at you different. They might look at you weird, but that's okay. Mm. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna receive this bad report. Right. First Peter 5 7 says what? Give all your cares, give all your worries, give all these bad reports to God. Why? Because wow. He cares about us. He yeah. says, Cast your care on me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm placing myself in his care. <laughs> and if I'm placing myself in his care, <laughs> Ain't no demon gonna stop by. Amen. Ain't no bad report gonna stop by. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Amen. And then, of course, 2 Timothy 1 7 says this For God has not given you a spirit of fear. That's right. Amen. Power. But a power of love and of a sound mind. Well, how is the enemy gonna know, or how is anybody gonna know this power coming out of you? <laughs> you have to speak it out. Amen. Amen. You can take it in. But it's going to have to come out. Yeah. And you know, whatever you feel of, it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. You can you can tell with little children. You little children, what they hear, they go say. <laughs> Where they come from? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, who they hang around most? <laughs> home. <laughs> Who's home? Uh, parents. <laughs> well, you know, hey, don't say those things. When you get filled up the word, it's going to come out. I said, you know what? I can't do those things. But don't say I can't because you can't do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Right. Amen? You get filled with the word and it'll get your fears out, get all your troubles out. Amen? And now I'm going to confess what the word of God says. Isaiah 40 and 31 says, but they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen? So, Spending time with him, waiting upon the Lord. Amen. These things are going to come. Don't rush them. It'll be there, and you'll get there on time, you know. One step at a time, one day at a time. <laughs> Amen. Everyone is different, but we all face these giants daily. Stand up. Face your giants. Just like David. You know, I'm getting way ahead of myself, but <laughs> when David faced this giant, you know when he, Jesse, the father, sent him to go bring lunch to his brothers? And all they was talking about was the problem and the giant. When David got there, he wasn't even talking about the giant. You know what the first thing came out of him? He was talking about his God. That's it. Amen. You may be going somewhere, and all they're talking about is problem. Mm -hmm. Don't join in and just you say, hey, well, I can talk about the problems. You know, I got plenty of them. Mm. Why don't you start talking about God? I know how you can solve these things. I got an answer for all these things you're talking about. His name is Jesus. Yes. Well, 
We don't want to hear about that. Well, that's all that's going to come out of me. I'm not going to, you know, I've changed. I come out of there. No, I'm changed. I, all I've got for you to share with you is Jesus. He's delivered me and he can deliver you. Amen. But David wasn't talking a problem and saying, wow, all we're talking about is football. All we're talking about is whatever sports you like, you know, whatever problem it is. Yeah. David taught us how to face your own giants. Stay battle ready. I thank Amen. God for my military career. They taught us how to be battle ready. But you know, as a soldier for God, we got to stay battle ready. Because yeah. we fight an enemy. And every time you leave home, this enemy is waiting for you. This world is waiting for you. And if you haven't spent time with your God, if you haven't spent time with your Jesus, and renew yourself and ask him for, you, for, for him to be there and give you the strength that you need to go out and to, to complete your mission. That world's going to have you. That spiritual battle that you fight on a daily basis, the spiritual uh, battle that you fight in your mind, you can't face it and you can't win without him. That's right. It says renew your mind with the word of God. Otherwise, you're going to be defeated. Amen. Be battle ready. Say goodbye to defeat and start a victorious life with God. Amen. Know the weapons God has given us. Mm -hmm. Amen. And claim your victory. Yeah. Join the battlefield called life. <laughs> There's a battlefield out there. It's called life. And be confident of his presence. Yeah. Amen. Cut up the enemy's head and overcome totally all those bad reports and deceptions the enemy has in your life. Yeah. Amen. Hey, used to be this way, but it ain't this way no more. You know what insane means? Insane yeah. is doing the same thing all the time and expecting different results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. We need to change. We need we need change. We need to say, hey, you know that's enough. Mm -hmm. Lord, I need you. I need to change my life. Mm -hmm. Don't say, why me, Lord, but send me, Lord. <laughs> you know when the devils are coming and you wake up. And you wake up and, and they, they flee because I'm submitted to God. I'm going to resist you and they're going to flee. So don't say, why me, Lord? Why do you want to send me? Instead, say, send me, Lord. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm battle ready. Yeah. You can send me anytime. Be ready. Be available. He's not looking for perfect people. Mm -hmm. He's looking for available people. Amen. And you keep yourself ready. Amen. So that you're ready to go. Get in the word. Stay in the word. Read the word. Get yes. it in you. Get full of the word. Amen. Amen. The enemy, <laughs> the spiritual battle, nothing can overcome that except mm -hmm. the word, yes. the name, the tools, yes. the weapons God has given us. Amen. Yes. His name, his blood. <clears throat> yes. Amen. Taking authority. God is not looking for perfect people, but available people that will step out in faith like David did. Amen. Amen. In 1 Samuel 17, uh, verses uh, 40 through 51, David and Goliath. I mean, this is a quick thing here. But the uh, Bible story is of a, a little boy, David, and his battle with the Philistine giant, Goliath. Mm -hmm. David defeated his giant, so can we. Yeah. Amen. David protected his flock from what? From the bear, from the lion, from the giant. Yeah. So can we. Amen. Yeah. Whatever giants, whatever bad reports, whatever situations, are coming at you. Uh, Whatever situation you're facing. Yeah. You're not alone. God is with you. Yeah. Amen. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Right. You just keep that relationship. Stay strong in him. Amen. Mm -hmm. We, we, uh, we, we kind of touched on this uh, last week. About the 12 spies sent in the Canaan. 10 came back with a bad report. 12 spies went in. 10 came back with a bad report. Two came back with a good report. Ten says, we we, we can't, we can't, we can't. You know, those these guys are giants. We saw these giants. He says, we can't do that. We can't, we, we can't come against them. We're like grasshoppers against them. And two came back with a positive report. Caleb interrupted, called for silence before Moses and says, let us go up and take this land now. Says, we can do it. Yeah. That's us. You know, when you follow God, you're better ready. And you say, you know what? Not why, why send me, Lord, but send me. 
Why me, Lord? But send me, Lord. I'm ready. Yeah. Amen. Caleb and Joshua were like, were like this. We can take it now, Lord. We can go now. Mm -hmm. Woo, praise God. What kind of report do you have? Mm -hmm. What kind of report's coming out of you? But you know, even now we can change. You know, we don't have to confess those bad reports anymore. We don't have to give out those bad reports anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. We need to be positive and not negative. Amen. Amen. Confess, confess the word. Let that faith-filled word come out of you. And we can do it, amen. We can do all things through Christ, through Christ, amen. Yeah. <sighs> Here's the thing: is we can do it, not yeah. we can't do it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we can't do it. No, yeah. we can do it. We yeah. can do all things amen. through Christ who strengthens us, amen. Let me see if I got about these. Give me another one. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> God is bigger than your problems. Okay? He's bigger than all your problems. And you know, we said this so many times, we magnify and make our problems so much bigger than our God. And we're afraid. And we scare ourselves. Because these problems are much bigger than our God's. But this is, God is bigger than any problems face you're facing. Whatever situation may be. God is bigger yes, is. than whatever you're facing. Amen. Yes. So let's uh, let's get let's get this uh, let's, let's get this right. And don't magnify your problem, but magnify your God. Keep Amen. going. Thank you, Lord. Whew, hallelujah. Here we go. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6 says, I will never leave you nor forsake thee. Amen. So that we may boldly say, mm -hmm. The Lord is my helper. Yes. I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Amen. Amen. He's with me. You know, don't say, I'm facing this all by myself, God. You don't care about me. What's, where are you? You never there? He's always there. He says, if he says he never leaves you, no for sex, he's there. Yeah. We just got to hook up. You know, just like, don't say we don't have no power around here to yeah. hook up whatever tools you have. Uh -huh. Because there's outlets, electrical outlets all over this place. You plug into one end and you'll get a charge. Uh -huh. You'll get some, some electricity flowing through there. Guess what? Yeah. He's our source. Yes. And we go to him and we charge ourselves up. Build yourselves up. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, <laughs> I don't care what's, what you're facing. Mm. How about the three Hebrew children? <laughs> you know, they got a bad report. Mm. They said, we're going to throw you in, in, the, in, the, in the furnace. In the furnace. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. They, they didn't know. Uh, Cry, they didn't they didn't say no. They just knew their report was our God is bigger than whatever you do to us. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he threw them in a the fire and guess what? We threw three of them in there. One of them says, soldier says, uh, we threw three and there's four in there. Mm -hmm. You know what? Whatever situation you're facing, mm -hmm. God is there with Amen. you. Amen. Amen. God is with you Lord. no matter what Amen. you're facing. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Second Kings 6, uh, 15 through uh, 18. Elijah and the servant. Um, the king of Syria sent horses and chariots and a great army. And they surrounded the city. Mm -hmm. And when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, there was armies around surrounding the cities and horses and chariots everywhere. And the servant said to him, my master. <laughs> what shall we do? He answered, do not fear. Those that are with us are more than those against us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The man of God is, is telling his servant. His servant is fearful and say, look at all these soldiers against us, coming against us. Mm -hmm. And he looks and says, there's more for us than against, than against us. Amen. <laughs> so Elijah prayed to the Lord that his servant's eyes be opened that he may see. And the Lord, guess what? The Lord opened his eyes of the young man. And he saw. And behold, the mountains was full of horses and chariots of fire all around. So when this uh, Syrians came down on him, Elijah prayed, and the Lord struck him with blindness. Mm. Amen. So guess what? Whatever situations you're facing, mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, it looks big. Mm -hmm. And we magnify this problem. Mm -hmm. But no, 
Elijah says, you know, our God is bigger Amen. than what you Amen. see. <laughs> whatever you're seeing, whatever you're going through, our God is bigger. Amen. Praise God. I'm sure his servant said, are you crazy? <laughs> Can you see? Elijah was seeing in the spirit realm. And he said, and pray and ask the Lord to open his eyes, his servant's eyes, so that he could see in the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. And when he saw in the spirit, you can't see spiritual things with your physical That's eyes. Right. Amen. When, when the Lord opened the servant's eyes to see in the spirit realm, guess what he saw? Mm -hmm. All those chariots of fires yes. all around. He says, wow, yes. yes, there's more for us uh -huh. than against us. Amen. So praise God. Amen. God has our answer. Yes, Amen. Yes. Praise Amen. God. Like David, Joshua, and Caleb, we should know that facing your giants should always point to God. Mm -hmm. Anything that we do should always point to Him. Amen. He's our answer yes. for our giant struggles. Uh -huh. Whatever faces, whatever you're facing, yes. He is our answer. Amen. Yes. <laughs> when you face your giants, know you have power to face them. Amen. <laughs> there will be no hiding. No running away, no quitting, no fear, no drugs, no alcohol. Mm. Amen. The greater one is in you. Amen. Amen. All these other things won't be there. Yeah. All these other things can't help you. That's right. But the word of God yeah. can help you. Face them and stand against them. Mm -hmm. Just like David faced his giants. Yes. Know your God by having a relationship with him. You know what Christianity is about? Mm -hmm. Christianity is about relationship. Religion is all about man-made rules that you'll never live up to. Mm. Amen. So we need to have a relationship within with him. The odds may be against you, but greater is he that's in you than he that's yes. in the world. <laughs> he's the God on the mountain. Yes. And he's the God in the valley. Amen. Whether you're up Amen. or down, he's still God. Yes. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. He's always gonna be there. Keep going. Amen. We sing this song all the time. And the God of the good times is the God of the bad times. Yes. And the God of the day is still the God in the night. Amen. Praise God. He don't take rest. Thank we take Lord. rest. We take vacations. Uh -huh. <laughs> he never does. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's always there for yes. us. Amen. Praise God. Keep going. Amen. <laughs> get your eyes off the mountain. And your eyes. Get your eyes off the mountain. And your eyes on uh -huh. the mountain mover. Yes. Amen. He'll move the mountains. You just stand and say, wait a minute. This is what the word of God says. I'm not. He's going to move that mountain for yes. you. Amen. Thank you. We don't have to go around it. Yes. We don't have to go around this problem or that problem. <laughs> we can just go right through it. Say, yes. uh -uh. We're going to move this mountain. Yes. Keep going. The Lord is greater than the giants you face daily. Yes. Whatever you may be facing, yes. he's bigger than your giants that you face. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So grant us you to send you that he is to send the world. First John 4, 4. David knew he had already been tested by the bear and the lion. The world bring giant problems, but no uh, problem is bigger than our God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. He's slung the rock. <laughs> the word, the rock, the word, just like a missile mm -hmm. into a giant's forehead. Amen. <laughs> God. Hallelujah. Your giant may tower above everything but God. Uh -huh. Your giant looks big. We're just like that uh -huh. But may, may tower over everything bigger than anything except my God. Amen. Woo, praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Our Goliath doesn't have a sword. Shield or wears armor. Our Goliath comes to us as sickness, mm. unemployment, no. abandonment, abuse, alcohol, mm. debts, mm. depression, pornography, mm. failures, setbacks. Mm. That's our Goliath. That's the things coming against you. You might can add to the list. There's more. Mm. Amen. But whatever it is, you can throw it on that list. Yeah. But my God is bigger. Yes, he is. Amen. Yeah. My God is bigger. Praise Don't God. try to magnify it. You feel around somebody that's magnifying oh, a problem more than God. Say, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing bigger than my God. That's it. Amen. 
My God is able. Yes, he is. Praise God. Your giant doesn't pray <laughs> up and down the hills. He uh, prances through your office, your bedroom, your classrooms. He brings bills you can't pay, grades you can't make, and people you can't please. Whiskeys you can't resist. <laughs> Pornography you can't refuse. A career you can't escape. A past that you can't shake. And a future that you can't face. Fears. Amen. Past. That means so good at bringing up your past. And he'll use people to do yes. this. And sometimes yes. it's family. So, you know your past is gone. Jesus, if Jesus can forgive and forget, why are we still judging people? Why are we still bringing it up against people? Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. Amen. If you're going to believe God's report, if you're going to believe the report of the Lord, mm -hmm. then your past is gone. Mm -hmm. He says, behold, this is, you're new. Mm -hmm. All things are past. Oh, behold, yes. all things are new. Thank Amen. Second Corinthians 5, 17. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to believe what the word of God says, so you know what? <laughs> That's not me anymore. Mm -hmm. That's somebody else. I'm a new person. I'm a new creature in Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Praise God. See and hear from God on a daily basis. Feed on the word. Renew your mind. Crucify your flesh. Uh -huh. You know, you feed your spirit, man, the word of God. You renew your mind with the word of God. And you crucify your flesh. Mm. Speak faith-filled words. Have a relationship with them. Visit with them. Speak with them. <laughs> Speak to your giants the word of God. Mm. And this is where I told you a few minutes ago, but David showed up talking about his God. <laughs> Jesse sent uh, David to bring lunch to the brothers. David's first discussion was on the Lord, not about Goliath. Mm -hmm. They were all focused on their problem. They were all focused on Goliath. And we're talking about soldiers. Yeah. And we're talking about King Saul. And they all focus on the problem. They all focused on, 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 on the giant. Yeah. And the first thing David says uh -huh. was, was talking about his God. Mm -hmm. Amen. He, he's talking about his God. Finally, he says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine right. that devours the armies of God? Uh -huh. Jesse sent uh, David to bring lunch to his brothers. King Saul and the soldiers mentioned nothing about God. All the talk was about the battle and the odds against them. David made this godly announcement. The Lord who delivered me from the power of the lion and the of the bear yes. will deliver me from the hands of this fellow Yes. And you know, when God has brought you through something, oh, yeah. he's going to see you for something else. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. <laughs> David, you know, the story about David, finally he become king, but when the prophet when God sent the prophet to Jesse's house to go to the house of Jesse because I had a king from, come from there. That's Jose. <laughs> <laughs> and David, David, I mean, uh, Jesse grabs all this nice, handsome sons, you know, and, and all professionals, you know, and, and he, he parades them through uh, the prophet and he says, no, 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 no. And finally, he's... <laughs> I say, Lord, are you sure you're not confused about this? He says, no. Mm -hmm. He says, do you have any more sons? Mm -hmm. And he says, yeah, I got one, but he's all, he's over there taking care of the flock. Mm -hmm. Guess what? He called you. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, I've got Jose, but he's over there he's just, you know, taking care of the sheep. Mm -hmm. Well, bring him. Guess what? You see yourself as no one. God said and crucified Jesus for us. Amen. And that little shepherd boy, God chose to be king of Israel. Yeah. So don't put yourself down. That's I think right. we made something last week uh, that goes uh, something like this. Never feel unqualified to serve the Lord. God looks at your heart, not your past. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Or whatever your, your job is. Mm -hmm. But little old David just taking care of the sheep and doing a great job doing uh -huh. a shepherd boy. Yes, he is. But all the other guys that passed through were not. 
who God had uh, chosen. Right. He chose that little shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? He chose you. And he called you. And you got what it takes to yes. fulfill what God's called you to do. Yes. Amen. Lord. So don't put yourself down. If God called you, you're somebody. Yeah. Amen. Now we got ourselves straight. We got the word in us. And we're going on and we're, we're, we're winning these battles. Amen. Yes, man. Whatever report you're facing, you know, uh -huh. whose report he's going to believe. I'm going to really believe the report of the Lord. Yes. Whatever he says of me, no matter who's been telling you what, uh -huh. what, what they've been saying about you, I'm going to believe what God is saying about me. Uh -huh. And sometimes, you know, <laughs> you may stand by yourself. Uh-huh. And that's okay. Because God is for me. Yes. And not against me. That's right. Amen. We're not going to finish this, so we're going to stop here. <laughs> no one else discussed God. David discussed nothing but God. <laughs> Only you may discuss or bring up God in your family, in your job, in your situation. But don't be ashamed. Amen. Don't, don't be ashamed. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Uh, let, me see, let me see the next one. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Amen. You may be facing impossible situations uh -huh. in your eyes, but with God, nothing is impossible. That's right. Amen. <laughs> so praise God, whatever that situation may be, yes. know that God will see you through. Amen. Amen. He says, he told his disciples, he says, we got on the, on the, on the, on the, in the ship, and he says, we're going to the other side. Uh -huh. God says, I called you to fulfill his mission. That means you got what it takes to fulfill your mission. Yeah. There might be distractions on the way. There might be storms on the way. Uh -huh. And people saying things about you. And you may not feel qualified. But God already said, Jesus already said, I called you to fulfill your mission. Amen. So what's stopping you? Whatever it is, all you got to do is focus on what he's told you to do. Yeah. And know, I'm going to believe his report. Whose report are you going to believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. And I'm going to fulfill what he's called me to do. Yeah. And get busy doing it. Big or small, you're going to fulfill fulfill what he's called you to do. Yeah. Amen. Because with him, nothing is impossible. Right. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that's in you than he is in your will. Uh -huh. Amen. The greater one is in you. He's no longer in a building. He's no longer in a temple. and it, It's in you now. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. He goes where you go. Yes. And it's time to, that's, that's a good eye opener right there. Yeah. He goes where I go. Amen. One more. Yes. And here's the thing. We're close with this. Thank you, Lord. I can do some things through all Christ. Things. All things. <laughs> I can do all, all things through Christ who strengthens me. You need some strength? Well, you got to plug into the source yes. and say, Lord, on a daily basis, constantly, on a daily basis, or as needed. Lord, I need to strengthen today. Yes. I'm facing some impossible situations, wow. but with you, all things are possible. Yes. Amen. I need your strength. Amen. And you know what? He's not going to hold back from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's going to see you through. Mm -hmm. He told his disciples, we're going through to the other side. Mm -hmm. And guess what? On the way, the storm came up. Mm -hmm. And the disciples got all fearful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they went and woke him up and said, don't you care that we perish? And of course, he got up and he rebuked the wind. Everything was calm and everything was fine after that. Well, guess what? All that is in you. So now you take the authority and all the spiritual weapons he's given us to use. Amen. Amen. It's all in you. But you have to use it. Amen. You have to speak it out. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to speak it out. <laughs> if you don't speak it out, nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But you have to get it out of you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We're going to stop there. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God.